Five reasons why the narcissist won't move on. Five reasons why they won't detach from you. Five reasons why they won't get on with their lives. In many situations, the narcissist would just discard you. Once they've lined up another source of supply, they would just disappear. But this doesn't always happen. There are situations where the narcissist won't move on. And there are reasons for this. One or more of these reasons may apply to your situation. One, they're not finished with you. The narcissist won't move on because they're not done with you yet. They realize that you still have more to give. They realize that you have more energy or money. They understand that you still have something to offer them. The narcissist will milk you like a cow. They will try to get as much out of you as possible. Often in an unfair and dishonest way. They won't move on because they're jealous. They believe that you have what belongs to them. They have a strong sense of entitlement and they are fiercely protective of their possessions. So they will hold on to you for dear life. They understand that you have a lot to offer and they see it as though you're just going to run off with all of the goodies. You're going to run off as a desirable and attractive person as you are. With everything that you've worked hard for. With all of the special and nice things that you're going to enjoy. And then you're just going to share all of that with someone else. This is what dominates the narcissist's mind when they think of you moving on without them. And that is why they can't move on. They can't stand the thought of you taking everything that they feel entitled to. Everything that they feel is rightfully theirs. They don't consider all of the hard work you put in to be the person that you are today. They don't consider all of the trials and tribulations you had to go through. All they see is the finished package. And they won't settle for a piece of the pie. They want everything you've got. From the moment they saw you, in their minds you belong to them. They see you as their property. They see you as something that exists to meet their needs. And that is why they won't move on. That is why they're still holding on to you. It's not because they value you as a person. It's because they just want everything you have. And they can't stand the thought of you moving on with everything that you are and everything you have. And then sharing that with someone who is more deserving and appreciative. Someone who will value you. Someone who will be able to revel in and make the most of everything that you are. Two, they're struggling to replace you. The narcissist is going to have difficulty moving on if they haven't found your replacement. And if you were their grade A source of supply, it's going to be very difficult for them to replace you. It's going to be very difficult for them to find someone with the same qualities and abilities that you have. 
the same level of attractiveness or the same amount of money. Some of these narcissists are also sociopathic or psychopathic. They're not going to settle for less than what they think they deserve. So they will wait until they find something that is up to their desire and expect the standard. And while they're waiting, they will hold on to you. They will try to get something out of you. They will try to get you to re-engage with them. But it's not because they care about you. It's not because they want to be with you. It's just because you're the highest grade of supply that they can find at that moment in time. Once they manage to find something that is even remotely close to what they're looking for, you won't hear from them again. And in many situations, they will just settle for less. They will settle for whatever they can find. They see it as though anyone who doesn't know what they're really about is going to be a better alternative. Free. They think you still want them. The narcissist won't move on if they think you still want them. If they think you're still susceptible to their manipulation. As long as they think they can get something out of it, they will stick around. But they can often be very delusional. You may want nothing to do with them. But it's like they just don't seem to get it. They're very arrogant and audacious. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They can't see how someone could not want them. In their minds they are everything you should want. So even if you reject them, they might still continue returning to you. They might still try to come back. Narcissists don't take no for an answer. If they want something, they believe they should have it. You're just a shiny object to them. You're just this item that attracts their attention because of your superficial characteristics. They don't care about anything beneath that. They can't even have a genuine conversation with you. They won't even take the time to get to know you as a person. Because none of that matters to them. All they care about is what you can give to them. Or how you can make them feel. But if they think you still want them, they will keep returning to you. They will keep coming back as long as they think they still have a chance. Four, their image and reputation. There is nothing more important to a narcissist than their image and reputation. It is everything to the narcissist. They will do whatever it takes to maintain it. In some situations, their image and reputation may be affected if they leave you. People might see them in a different way.
They might see it as though they've abandoned you. Maybe the narcissist wants to maintain this image as a family man or as a loyal wife or girlfriend. So even though they might want to move on, they believe that it is in their best interest to stay. They don't want to ruin their image or reputation. They don't want people to view them differently. So this is another reason why the narcissist won't move on. Five, they want to punish you. The narcissist will often keep returning to you because they want revenge. They want to harm you in return for an injury or wrong that they believe they have suffered at your hands. When the narcissist experiences a narcissistic injury, they can't just let it go. They will often hold it against you for the rest of their lives. They will hold a grudge against you. They will be very bitter and resentful. And whenever they return to you, it's only to belittle you. It's only to make you feel like you're less of a person. Because that's exactly how they felt when you rejected them. That's exactly how they felt when they experienced a narcissistic injury. And they don't know how to let it go. It consumes them. It dominates their minds. And since they don't self-reflect, the only way for them to deal with it is by returning to you, by tearing you down. Because that makes them feel better about themselves. It makes them feel like maybe they haven't been defeated after all. Their false sense of power comes from putting people beneath them rather than from generating it from within. They can't generate anything from within. That is why they are so dependent on you. That is why they won't move on. Those are the five reasons why the narcissist won't move on. In any situation, they won't move on because they want something from you. They're getting something out of it by staying. They feel like you're going to take something away from them, even if it doesn't rightfully belong to them. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They feel entitled to you. And they have difficulty letting go. I hope that these five reasons have been helpful to you. I hope that they have helped you to understand why the narcissist won't move on. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will talk to you in another video very soon.